Greetings everyone. I want to do a walk around of my 1922 Essex coach. For those of you that aren't familiar with Essex, it was a uh, make of the Hudson Motor Car Company made between uh, 1919 and I believe about 1933 when it was placed by Terraplane. This is a 1922. Uh, it's been in the family since like about 1971, so we've owned it for almost half its life. As you can see, it's it's in decent shape. It's not perfect, but uh, it's a nice little little old car. So uh, let me open up the engine compartment here and show that to you. So uh, here's the engine. Uh, it's uh, mostly complete and original. There's a, a little uh, hot air tube that's missing from the carburetor there, but otherwise it's stock with the original vacuum pump, which uh, still works. In fact, I just rebuilt it recently. And the classic Auga horn. The uh, interior, as you can see here, is uh, I'd say mostly original or original type. Uh, carpeting's been added at some point, and uh, there's some non-original material here for the uh, the headliner. But uh, other than that, it's pretty much as it came. And as you can see, the gauges are pretty much old style gauges with the. Uh, Igni combination of ignition and light switch, uh, ammeter, oil pressure gauge, and uh, speedometer. And uh, on the steering column here, you can see there's a gas and spark lever. And uh, so let's go here and uh, start the car up. It's actually pretty simple. You just uh, turn the ignition switch on here. You give it uh, a little bit of choke here on the choke lever little bit of gas and uh, you hit the starter and there we go just like a new car starts right up runs really nice yeah, let's get a little shot here of the engine so you see the engine is just purring along Okay, well now we're going to take the car for a spin and uh, we're just going to go around the neighborhood here. Shut it 
off, put on the e-brake, and we're done. So I hope you've enjoyed this tour and ride in my uh, 1922 Essex coach. I'll try to get some more videos up soon. A little full 360 degree walk around here. As you can see, it actually has a, a trunk. It's not huge, but a uh, good place to uh, put your valuables or your uh, tools you might need to work on this thing. And we'll get back here and get a good side view. It's not the prettiest car in the world, but I think it's kind of uh, kind of unique. And you see it's got a windshield wiper, uh, vacuum operated. And a pair of headlights, which are pretty dim, but, uh, but they do work.